Hello and greetings from the chapel of the Cardinal Pfaff Brazilian Center in Toronto. On behalf of the General Council, I wish you a grace-filled Advent season and the joy and peace of the Feast of Christmas. Early in my first term, I began the practice of writing an Advent letter to the community. My Advent letter has now become an Advent message. My decision in those early days of ministry to focus on Advent reflects in many ways my understanding of the ministry of congregational leadership today, which I might best describe as calling the community to hopeful realism. Whenever I travel in Mexico or Colombia with Jack Hanna, he always reminds me that underlying Latin American literature is the concept of magical realism, in which mythical or magical elements are introduced into seemingly realistic fiction. That helps me to search for the magical and mystical in what can be the harsh realities of both those countries. And so, after these seven and a half years of service, I'm inclined to describe my outlook for the community, not as magical realism, but as hopeful realism, by which I mean the search for the hopeful amidst the harsh realities that we face as a congregation. That is, for me, the key to our future, being hopeful and realistic. Among the most hopeful signs of new life in the congregation at the moment are the upcoming general chapter next July and the corresponding appointment of the steering committee. We on the General Council are greatly excited about and enormously grateful to the members of the steering committee. Chaired by Dennis Nelke, the committee's membership includes David Bittner, Terry Kirsch, Raphael Lopera, and Glenn McDonald. To these five confreres, all of us say thank you and God bless you. They have already chosen a passage of scripture to guide them in their ministry. And it is a passage of profound depth and meaning for our congregation today. From the 24th chapter of Luke's Gospel, the encounter with the risen Jesus on the road to Emmaus. It is an inspired choice. In the midst of what appears to be a daunting and diminishing future, two disciples representing a small community are transformed as a result of an encounter with Jesus. May I ask each Brazilian community and each member of the congregation, as well as our lay associates, to dedicate some time to prayer during this season of Advent for the members of the steering committee. Might you include them in your communal intercessions and in your private prayer? If you have the time, spend a few moments in prayer calling each of them to mind by name, asking God to bless them and guide them in their ministry. They are undertaking a very important task for us and they deserve our support, our prayers, and especially our willing response to any invitation they may issue to us to prepare for and take part in the general chapter of 2018. The members of the steering committee and their important ministry fill us with Advent hope, which in turn gives us the courage to embrace our reality with honesty. The great figures of Advent, the prophet Isaiah, 
John the Baptist and Mary, all faced the reality of their respective situations in ways that inspire us to both prophetic honesty and surrender to God's divine will. And above all, to an understanding that our spiritual destiny as individuals and as a religious congregation can only be discovered in and through the Paschal mystery of Jesus Christ. May God bless you throughout this Advent season. And may God guide us to the general chapter of 2018 and beyond that we might celebrate our 200th anniversary in 2022 as a new Christmas.